All right, persimmon lovers, this is Ross. Today we're gonna to be talking about persimmons, and you can see here behind me, my eight-year-old Rosianca persimmon tree is so full and lush this year and filled with flowers that I'm gonna have the best harvest I've ever had with my persimmon trees. And I'll tell you the secret, it's all about summer pruning. And that's what we, I wanna to talk to you guys about in today's video. This is something that I believe that anybody can do to their own persimmon trees and see a huge increase in production by just doing a little bit of summer pruning. Um, and you know what? It just totally makes sense because summer pruning, as we do to all of our fruit trees, not just persimmons, but to my fig trees, my pears, my apples, my stone fruits, this is a pretty darn common technique that's applied to a lot of fruiting plants. And the basics of what we're doing here with this persimmon tree is by topping the trees, let's say at the end of May or in sometime in June here in the Philadelphia area, I'm able to encourage my trees to put out a second flush of growth. And this second flush of growth multiplies one branch into many. And so now instead of having one branch the next season, I have, let's say three or four. And so if you do that to all parts of your tree, you then multiply one branch into many, many, many more. And that's why the tree this year, if you go back and look at some of my other persimmon videos that we filmed of this Rosianca persimmon, you'll notice the tree looks so much more fuller. That's why we summer pruned the heck out of it and encouraged it to put out a lot of new growth. And now that we have all this new growth, I'm seeing on the tree all the new flowers that are forming. Very soon they're gonna be opening up they're gonna be pollinated by the bees and we're gonna have ourselves an incredible crop of persimmons. And so that's the name of the game here. Exactly what I've done is encourage this tree to put out new growth in spades and therefore put out a lot more flowers. And the more flowers we can actually produce, the more fruits we're gonna actually ripen. I mean, that only makes sense. But one of the problems here with persimmons is that they constantly drop fruits. And not every persimmon does this. It does depend on the variety. I would say the American persimmons and the hybrids of Americans like this Rosianca and typically faster growing persimmons will drop their fruits more often than the Asian varieties and the slower growing varieties. Um, and even younger trees tend to drop their fruits. But what I've learned is that it's just inevitable that there is going to be some fruit drop on persimmons. It was a big mystery with me and a lot of my videos in the past have actually been trying to figure this out. And I brought a lot of you guys along with me on this journey and what I learned was it's just inevitably going to happen. You're just going to have persimmons that fall off the tree. It's just a part of growing persimmons. What you can do, however, is actually plant yourself a male tree, or you can plant a female tree that throws out male flowers. Those male flowers cross-pollinate with the female flowers here on the Rosianca tree, and that actually will pollinate them and encourage them to actually stay on the tree more consistently. The problem with that is that you actually encourage your trees to have more seeds in them. So there's a trade-off. You get more fruits, but you also have more seeds. And so I never really bothered with a male tree or even had, I think, a female tree that does actually produce male fruits. I've just kind of learned to accept that this is the truth. And instead, this technique now of summer pruning is kind of allowing me to kind of hedge my bets a little bit. I'm playing a numbers game, I think is actually the best way to put it, right? Rather than, uh, in, what I'm just basically trying to do, let's, let's put it like this. I'm trying to have as many flowers on my tree as possible because I know that a percentage of those flowers, no matter how old the tree is, no matter what, what's going on with the tree or what the state of the tree is, there's gonna be a percentage of those flowers that fall off every year and it's gonna be sad. And I'm gonna lose out on some fruits. So rather than just trying to learn how to stop them from falling off, I figured let's try a technique actually that's gonna encourage them to put out and produce as many flowers as possible. And that's what this is. Summer Pruning 101. We topped the tops of the branches here last year. 
and this allowed the trees to put out a second flush of growth. You can see actually right here is a really good example. You see where the, the um, extra little piece of wood there is that's dead at the top of that branch. Right in the middle of the screen is a brown branch and it branches out in different directions. And so that's where I topped it last year. And what happened was after I topped it, it put out a flush of new growth. And this flush of new growth put out all the new branches here, or all this brown wood, excuse me, that you see all along from this main branch that I topped. And so by topping it, forming this new flush of growth, then I have from all of that growth from last year, all that additional branching and all that additional canopy, all that additional dense canopy that we formed, we now have all these new branches of this growing season. And the more branches we have during the current growing season, the more flowers we potentially form on our trees. And that's it. We're just playing a numbers game. We're trying to get as many flowers on these trees as possible. And so far here, it's worked out. And I think really the proof's in the pudding. And I would highly recommend that you guys try this right around now, I'm gonna start thinking about it. Especially a lot of these uh, really vigorous shoots here. Those are definitely the prime subjects, the prime uh, branches that you do want to summer prune. Just come in here with the pruning shears, top them off. Maybe even you can even pinch them off here with your thumb as you would do maybe on a fig tree. And then that's it. Do that to all the really vigorous branches. You're going to get a second flush of growth. And then you're going to the following year have just as many flowers as I have here on my tree and you're gonna see great success. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. Please hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button for me if you like this one. We'll catch you guys for the next one. Take care.